name is Brian Sweetek. I am a freelance science writer, author of my beloved Brontosaurus, and a paleontology volunteer at the Natural History Museum of Utah. It's all about why the dinosaurs that I grew up with, the ones I saw in the 1980s, the slow, stupid, swamp-dwelling dinosaurs, have all been replaced by animals that are brightly colored, feathered, can practically do cartwheels over the Mesozoic landscape. Why dinosaurs have changed so much in the past 30 years, and the new sort of uh, insights that we're getting into how these animals actually live. So in 2010, uh, that was the year that a pair of paleontologists from the Museum of the Rockies came out with a paper saying that a dinosaur with three horns and a big frill called Taurosaurus was the mature form of another dinosaur, the famous Triceratops, and this sparked this huge controversy and there's much weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth that you know paleontologists were taking away Triceratops. That wasn't the case at all. It was actually the reverse. There's only Taurosaurus fans like myself that had reason to worry. But it really highlighted for me the disjunct between what scientists are doing, the actual research, and the public perception of what dinosaurs were like and also what paleontology is. So it was that tension between our beloved dinosaurs and new science that really sparked my interest in the, at this intersection between sort of imagination and science. It was mostly an accident. Uh, I started writing about science because I was very, very frustrated with my university education. I wasn't really learning about the things I wanted to learn when I was at Rutgers University, so I started reading the technical literature on my own about uh, dinosaurs, about fossil mammals, other forms of prehistoric life, how evolution worked. And I was just so excited about it that I just started blogging. I just, I had to share this with the world and that sort of turned into a writing, uh, that by itself turned into a writing career uh, just out of my own sort of enthusiasm. So I consider myself very, very lucky to be the science writer I am because it's just kind of out of my uh, sort of fanboy love for the fossil record. I volunteer with the Natural History Museum of Utah based in Salt Lake City and every chance uh, that I get I go out to the field uh, often in places like Dinosaur National Monument or uh, Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument or Ghost Ranch New Mexico to actually help dig up these fossils uh, you know, myself and then take them back into the prep lab and help them get all cleaned up. Uh, I do some independent research as well on the side so you know writing pays the bills but every spare chance I get uh, I try and get my hands on the actual bones. The fact that they're you know, uh, real, that they're authentic, that they're these fantastic creatures that we couldn't have imagined unless we knew they already existed, and they actually were, were real animals that are intertwined with our own history, that you know, mammals and our ancestors were uh, around at the same time that these animals were dominating the global landscape, so that you know, our, our stories intertwined with theirs, with these creatures that are absolutely fantastic and mind-blowing in every single way. It's hard to define exactly what it is about dinosaurs, but just wondering about what these animals looked like, how they moved, you know, what they ate, what their world was like, to me that's just a source of endless fascination. Uh, don't wait for, for someone to give you an opportunity. Just get out there and try and uh, make those opportunities yourself. If you want to write about dinosaurs, start up a blog and just start doing it. You're not going to be a super famous blogger or get a you know offer to write for Smithsonian on day one, but if you keep at it and you show your enthusiasm, you will not only learn a lot, but you'll also be able to share that with a lot of people who might not otherwise uh, know about this, this new kind of science. If you want to get hands-on experience with uh, dinosaurs or any other fossils, talk to uh, the curator or paleontologist at your local museum or university and say, hey, I really am passionate about this. Are there volunteer opportunities in your lab or in the field? So you know, don't think that you have to go through the standard academic channels, or I need to take a journalism class, or I need to have a PhD. You know, if, if you're really that enthusiastic about it, take the alternate route and just, you know, get right into it. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more about my writing or my beloved Brontosaurus, you can find my work at brianswetech.com.